Hey guys, it's Joey from uh, Kingdom Rising Church, Word of Life Outreach Ministries. Um, not that you don't already know that, you're, you're getting this word on the on our page, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm always excited to see what different people in the body is uh, sharing on, you know, what words they're getting and how we're aligned and, you know, how we flow together, but also have different facets of parts of the body. It's kind of cool. Uh, but the last few few weeks, I've kind of been wrestling on what what word should I give. I've been hearing a lot of different things. Um, but the last few days, I've um, what I've really been hearing is stand firm. Stand firm in your faith. Stand firm on the foundation of Christ. And um, the scripture... In Matthew, it's uh, Matthew 7, 24. It says, Everyone who hears my teaching and applies it to his life can be compared to a wise man who built his house on an unshakable foundation. When the rains fell and the floods came with fierce winds beating upon his house, it stood firm because of its strong foundation. But everyone who hears my teaching and does not apply it to his life can be compared to a foolish man who, is, who has built his house on sand. When it rained and rained and the floods came, with wind and waves beating upon his house, it collapsed and was swept away. And um, I believe the Lord gave me this is. Um, because, you know, as, as we grow in the kingdom and as, as we expand uh, the gospel of Jesus, um, the winds and the waves are going to come. You know, it's inevitable. And I've learned in my walk, as long as I continue with the basic principles of, uh, you know, my foundation in prayer, my foundation of worship, uh, my foundation of uh staying in the word of God you know this thing is it's what sustains us you know it keeps us fed you know it's our daily bread and um, you know we can't miss the day on on that it's, it actually says that we become washed by the water of the word and um, this is our food you know um, but yeah as the, as the days come we're gonna um, see storms we're gonna see Things that are going to shake things up, but if we stand firm on the foundation, the basics, the basic principles of Christ, man, we ain't going to fall. We're going to stay. We're going to stay planted, and nothing's going to stop us. Um, you know, I've seen too many friends, or um, you know, just just in my little short walk, it's been a little over three years, but I've seen people uh, fall back in the old habits, or um, you know, backslide and. And the common denominator is their um, their secret their secret place time started to fade away, you know. In in Leviticus, I wrote this down because the Lord just gave me this before I uh, pressed record on this video. But um, Leviticus six thirteen says, "Remember, remember the uh, fire must keep burning on the altar at all times." It must never go out, you know, and through our, um, you know, our alone time with the Lord, we sustain that fire. You know, we do corporately gather on Sundays or throughout the week, but we need to be doing this every day so we can continue burning. And then when we do come into corporate worship, you know, we're just like, like Dana, like Apostle Dana says, you know, our lights become one big bonfire. Um, also, I was given, uh, James chapter 1 verse 2 it says my brother count it all joy when you fall into various trials knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing and um yeah man the trials and stuff are going to come but um you know, the Lord says it right here, count it all joy, because that trial is going to produce that character within us, and it's going to grow and mold us into the 
to the people who we are supposed to become. Um, so yeah, stand firm. Stand firm. It said be rooted and grounded in love. Um, I love you guys. It's a kind of a simple message. Um, but yeah, man, stand firm. Don't don't worry about what's going on in the world. Don't you know? Don't worry about um, the trials that may come. So what? You know, God is our fortress. He's our fortress. He's our strength. You know, as long as we abide in Him, He abides in us. It says, "Draw near to Him; He draws near to us." Um, I just try to keep it simple. Um, I don't get caught up in gossip or slander or drama. Um, you know, God makes it simple. He just says, love God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and uh, love your neighbor as yourself. And uh, when the focus is off of us and on him, you know, that's where we thrive. So, yeah, I love you guys. Uh, hope this blessed you and encouraged you. Just, uh, yeah, again, just stand firm.